Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to ring a character with Duit Basil 2. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepick.com. I will add download link and press your files. First of all, let's select his eyes, eyebrow, here and here. Let's right mouse, precoms, and add a name here. Click OK. Then, Let's right mouse, new and new object. Let's select these layers. Let's link to null object. Select this null. Let's press S, change scale, move to center. Let's change scale again, move to here. Then select this null and delete. And go to select this icon, region of interest, and select this here to region. Then go to composition and let's click crop come to region of interest. Okay, that's good. So, for quality vectors, select all these layers and click this icon. Let's zoom and let's see. Nice. Then, let's close here the composition. And select this here, let's press S, change scale, and move to here. Let's move to here like this. And let's change scale 30. Okay, let's select this palm behind icon and move to here. Click Session Tool. Nice. And select this here. Let's link to Body. Select Body. Go to Solo. And select Palm Behind. Move to here. Anchor Point. Click Session Tool. And Unsolo. Then select this Layer 1. Go to Solo. And let's click this icon for see black background. And select Palm Behind. Move to Anchor Point here. Click Session Tool. Then select this layer 11, go to solo and select palm behind again. Move to anchor point here. Click section 2. And finally select this 111, go to solo and select anchor point. Let's move to here. Click section 2. Let's unsolo all layers and select this layer 111. This is main hand layer. And let's link to body. Okay, and let's select this back. It's linked to body. And select yellow. Link to body again. Let's see, select body. Okay, that's good. So, let's select the layer 1. Link to layer 11. Select layer 11. Link to layer 111. And select this body. Let's say again. Okay, nice. So, let's select these hand layers. And go to window. Open Duik Bezel 2. Okay, let's click rigging and when we selected all three layers, click auto rig IK. Okay, rigging is down. Let's select controller and let's see. Okay, very nice. Let's select body, press air, let's see. Nice. Okay, good. So select this map and let's link to controller. Select controller, let's see. Nice. And select this map, let's move it up here, like this. Okay, say controller. Nice, very good. So, let's close the window. Let's make a little bit animation. Select this controller, press P, make new pass in frame, and go to 10 frame. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in the chamber, or click here, right here, plus 10. Click OK and let's move to right, go to 10 frame again and move to up. Select J frames, make easy. Let's see. OK, let's go to here. I want the two J frame, static J frames. Select this J frame, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Let's see. OK, this part is static. Let's see. Nice. Select J frames, move to right. Nice, let's select these three shape frames, move to right, and select this shape frame, move to right. Okay, select shape frames, let's go to graph editor and let's select this graph, make like this. Okay, and this. Okay, nice. So, in this time, select this here, press air, and in this time, make new rotation shape frame. 
go to 10k frame and let's change rotation like this go to first k frame let's change rotation like this Select k frames make easy let's see okay select these two k frames let's move to right okay and in this time let's hold shift press p make new pattern k frame go to here and let's move to down go to last keyframe select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v these three keyframes for bones effect let's make easy and let's animation nice let's change rotation six okay good and in this time let's make new rotation keyframe go to here and let's chain rotation like this select the three key frames ctrl c and ctrl v let's see nice so select this body and let's press air make rotation key frame go to here let's change minus two and go to here let's make new rotation key frame go to five key frames and chain rotation three say chain frames make easy let's see nice and in this time let's go to here let's hold shift press p make new passing chain frame and let's make again bounce effect go to here let's move the down body go to last chain frame say first chain frame control c control v and select this chain frame move to left Select the three shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, select the three shape frames. Control C and go to last shape frames. Control V. Nice. And go to here. Let's make new shape frame for controller and go to five shape frames. Move to like this and make new chain frame again go to here and let's move to down and go to here hold shift press air make rotation chain frame and go to here let's chain rotation like this and let's try move to hand like this select rotation chain frames make easy let's animation okay nice so in this time let's go to here make new rotation here the chain frame and go to here let's chain rotation like this and let's move to left and create again new rotation chain frame go to last chain frame chain rotation like this and select the three chain frames ctrl c go to here Control V and here Control V. Let's see. Okay, nice. Let's go to here. Make new body chain frame for rotation. Go to here. Let's change rotation minus two. Select the three chain frames. Control C and Control V. Let's move to here. Let's see. okay so let's select these shape frames let's move to right and these shape frames move to right nice so let's open here conversation and select these eyes press s click this icon let's change scale like this but we have problem with scale let's go to shape layers select this ellipse tool let's hold shift make one ellipse click section tool go to fill let's select this eyedropper with this color click ok and select this ellipse let's control d for duplicate and move to right 
Okay, select this ice and delete this my new ice. Let's change name. Ice and press S. Let's click this icon and go to first second. Make scale chain frame. Go to three chain frame. One to three. Change scale five. Go to three chain frame again. One to three. Change one hundred. Select chain frames. Make easy and move to right. Let's see. Okay, then select this eyes and let's move to here. Press R, chain rotation like this. Let's open inside shape layer, open content, select this ellipse two, and let's move to here. Okay, let's try move to down. Nice. So select this ice shape frames, control C, go to here and control V for random ice animation. Let's see. Nice. Let's delete these shape frames for slower ice. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's make hair animation. Let's see timing. Okay. In this time, let's go to here and select this layer here and go to solo, select this puppet pin tool, let's add one puppet here and one here and here. Clicization tool, let's see. Okay, and in this time, open mesh and open deform, select this puppet Okay, this puppet three. Let's open here, and let's see timing again. Okay, let's move to left and go to six shape frame one two three four five six. Move to down and go to ten shape frame. Move to up again. Go to ten shape frame. Move to down. Let's see. Okay, say so frames make easy. Let's see here. Okay, let's unsolo. Nice. And in this time again, let's let's press U and make new chain frame. Go to 10 chain frame. Let's move to up. Go to 10 chain frame again. Move to down again, go 10 chain frame, move to up and again. Let's see. Okay, let's see here. Okay, that's good. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.